you have a situation where you want desperately to avoid having a larger military presence, which I, you know, clearly would have its own negative effect on, on local population perceptions. So, so my, my counter question would be, what's the alternative? What, what is the least intrusive, invasive alternative? That we have been seeking for some time, and all I can tell you is that every flag, senior flag officer on the military side that has looked at this problem has, has sought that solution. That's a question I'd like to put to the other side since you've actually phrased it as a question. If you want to kill Al-Qaeda in these hard to reach places today, what is the alternative to the drones? Kill you know, I, I, my view has always been the most important battle going on does not include U.S. Marines versus Taliban. It's inside the mosques, inside the madrasas, it's inside the communities. And actually, our best allies are the ones that are most critical of this program. So if we're undercutting but our... But bottom our, line, are you saying not, not to try to kill them? Well, no, no. I, I, I'm not a person that says all drones need to be taken off the, 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 the out of the sky. But what I am saying is that we've lost the strategic narrative so that, General, I'm all in favor of not sending in the 1st Marine Division anywhere again for the most part. However, I think that we've lost sight of who the best fighters are in these battles, and it's actually not an American anywhere. It's an Afghan, it's a Yemeni, it's a Pakistani. So when you listen to our allies who want us to succeed, who want us to be safe, they are pretty uniform in their indictment of drones. Let me let uh, Rashid. If they don't control their own territory. Well, that's a that's a government to government discussion. I agree with that. As far as the tactic, it's what Ahmed, my you know, well spoken and famous colleague here at the table, has said, which is that the, the tactic can't be the strategy. We've we've enabled the tactic to become a failed strategy and a failed narrative. But Rashid, if the Coming back to the question that your opponents put a minute ago, if, this, if the goal of the strategy is to destroy Al-Qaeda physically, what alternative is there to drones to reach them in these places where it's very hard to get to? Well, you know, I, th I think there's no doubt that, you know, there are obviously ungoverned areas and uh, the Pakistanis have not been active enough in, in, in undermining and destroying al-Qaeda. But I also think that, you know, U.S. policy has, has um, uh, there's been enormous tension between the U.S. and Pakistan over the years, mm -hmm. as there has been between Yemen and, pa and the U.S. Now, it's not all centered around drones, but it's centered around, frankly, a lack of long-term strategy and vision by both countries. Um, and both are to blame. Now, I think, you know, we, what we need is much greater diplomacy and, um, you know, diplomatic efforts to strike better relationships. We had a situation where, as you know... But, but, but just, so, just to get to, to my point, and I'll, then I'll let you continue. Are you saying, therefore, that, that a campaign at this point to continue to try to kill al-Qaeda uh, operatives, planners, etc., strategists, by the United States is, is ill-founded? They should stop trying to kill them by drones or any other means? No, no, I think they should continue trying to kill them. They should be urging the Pakistanis to do much more. Mm -hmm. To do it This themselves. is the problem, okay. you know. Okay.